So I've restarted the timer. Uh, we're about 55 seconds in right now. And we're gonna give it about 12 minutes. Okay, so we're a minute and 13 seconds in. We'll give it about 12 minutes of cook time. We'll come back and see where our temperature's at with our mix. i hop up there and make sure all the material fell down in. And then I'll close the hopper door. So we're starting to mix now. We'll get some moisture burning off as we go here. In about 15 minutes, I'm gonna turn the mixer off and I'll let a little bit of material out so we can kind of see what temperature we're at because this is based on a timer. There's no thermal readers in there. So I'll stop the pug mill for a moment. I'm gonna come on back and I'll open the door. We'll just let a little bit of this out now and see what temperature we're at. Like I said, it's, lit, it's really wet material, it's cold out, so it may need a little bit more of a longer cook time than normal. The first batch is always going to take the longest. The batch time will decrease after each batch you do. So I can already tell that that mix is not ready yet, but we will get a reading on it. So that's about just about 200 degrees. And that was after about 10 minutes of mix time, uh, five minutes of preheating the chamber. Uh, now that we're almost at the boiling point of all the water coming off, the, uh, the mix will heat up substantially faster. So we'll only need another five or six minutes here. All right, it's been about another five minutes. So we got about 20 minutes total batch time with this batch here. Dump it out one more time and check it. So now we're getting right about where we want to be. That looks like pretty good mix. We're at about 350 degrees. So we'll dump this right out. And uh, once that's dumped, I'll put another load of millings right in. We'll put the timer on. And uh, the next batch should be down. So that was about 20 minutes for the first batch. Actually, really good mix. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we're about 320 degrees. Dump this right out. And what I'll do is I'll take this over to our tack tank and spray some of the tack material on there with the heated hose. See this one or no? So that's about uh, 16 minutes total. Good.